Welcome to Mythbusters, episode 6. Myth, you can cook Thatcher's EMP. So we're going to do a quick control. We're going to throw a grenade out here. So one, two, three, four. So about four seconds. We're going to try cooking it now. One, two, three, four. Nothing's happening. Go going to throw it. One, two, three, four. So you cannot cook a Thatcher grenade. It'll always have that same detonation time. So silencers reduced tracer effect. So this is a revisit because they've changed this in the latest patch. So silencer on the left, none silence on the right. And you can see that the P90 with a silencer makes no tracer effect now. So that's really cool. It actually makes silencers a little bit more useful. So that is confirmed. So laying on a grenade will save your buddies. So this one's been requested a lot. So we're going to have our volunteers and we're going to have Pyrites be the VIP and we're going to have Hawkmill be the bodyguard and we're going to see if Hawkmill can save the VIP by throwing himself onto a grenade in order to kind of suppress the explosion and save his buddy um, I think you can predict what's probably going to happen so we've got Pyrites, he's going to be right there and we've got Hawkmill ready to roll so we're going to throw a grenade and we're going to see what happens Hawkmill's going for it, he's getting himself over the top of it, and they both die. In fact, Pyrites managed to go right out of the window, which was awesome. So as you can see, the grenade lands, Hawkmill gets his chest right over it, and boom, both of them are dead. So that is busted. You cannot save your buddies by throwing yourself on a grenade. So five glass shots will destroy a castle barricade. Now I'm thinking this myth has come around because in the previous version there was a bug where Glass would fire four shots into a castle and it would completely destroy that castle but not for the defenders. For the defenders the castle was still intact so it was a huge bug, a really bad bug and a really bad glitch. So we've got Hawkmill here, he's shooting into the castle barricade in different areas every time. We've got up to 11 shots here, he's going to put a 12 shot in and the castle barricade goes down on 12. So it takes 12 sniper shots to destroy a castle barricade. So that's busted. So after the ADS fires one shot, Jaeger can pick it up and place it back down. So we know from a previous Mythbusters that an ADS only has two shots capable. But what if it fired one? Could you then pick it up and put it back down to get two shots? And the answer is no. Once it fires one shot, you cannot pick it back up. So that is busted. It only Every ADS can only do two shots each. So you can destroy a thermite charge by placing a bandit battery as it is detonated. So this is if you're, you don't want to get your bandit EMP'd, you can wait till the thermite's actually detonating it, then put it down. But, it doesn't work. It blows up before you can put it down and online. So, it only work if you have prior knowledge that that thermite charge was on the other side of the wall. Otherwise, I don't see how you can do it fast enough. So that one is busted. So Doc cannot revive an enemy in a welcome mat. So of course, it's an enemy, so you don't really want to revive them. Plus they're immobilized in a welcome mat, so you don't really want to shoot them with Doc's pistol as well. But what happens if you do? And the answer is nothing. It doesn't change anything when it comes to the bleed out, and he doesn't get up. So it is confirmed you cannot revive someone. So you can kill people with the physical impact of flash nitrogels or gas canisters. So we're going to down uh, pyrites here and I'm going to throw a bunch of flashbangs at him. So as you can see that didn't kill him. We're going to throw another one. This, one got, this time we're going to aim for his head. So we, as soon as he stops squirming. And again he doesn't die. So it, it's not necessarily like one hit you're going to kill him. So I'm all out of stun grenades now. So I was not able to kill pyrites, but what we're going to do is get them to down me. And then they're going to throw nitrous cells and gas canisters at me. So they throw two nitrous cells first. And then they throw me a gas canister. So it's definitely not like a one hit wonder kind of thing, but enough damage from them, it certainly will kill them. So there you can see he takes them out just by physical contact of the gas canister hitting me. It is confirmed, you can kill them that way. So you can be killed putting up a reinforced wall. So this is when you put up a wall and your head is still exposed. You can actually be shot in the head while it's going up. So as you can see, as I was pulling up, 
they were still able to shoot over the wall area and kill me. Now, in the patch notes, it did say that the wall is bulletproof. So, like when when, you, when, you, when it goes past your head, you should be safe. However, that doesn't actually appear to be the case. It appears to be that the patch notes are wrong. Because as you can see there, I managed to shoot him straight, straight through the reinforced wall that was well past his head. So for the moment, it's still confirmed. Blitz head, uh, Blitz's head hitbox no longer includes his ear protection. So the patch notes on this are pretty hilarious, I think. But they appear to be wrong, I think. So we've got Hawkmill here. He's shooting, and he's going to try and shoot me in the ear protection. So apparently he has a smaller head box. Uh, smaller hitbox now for his head. However, as we can see, it does still appear to include the ear protection. So I'm not sure if it really has been reduced in any noticeable way. So for the moment, that is still busted. So the glass in a recruit shield can be destroyed. So people seem to think that recruit shields are weaker than any other shield. But, in fact, they're just as strong. They can take just as much punishment as any other shield. So we've got glass trying to snipe the shield here. You can see it just has the kind of the hit impacts just like other shields, but it does not break. And for extra measure, I put a whole bunch of bullets into it as well, just to be sure. And I'm unable to do anything to it. So a recruit shield, even though it's smaller, it is still it is still just as capable as any other shield. So that is busted. So you can flash a drone. Interesting idea. So as the attackers only have flashes, we have to do this on my own. And yeah, nothing. Does not flash a drone. Thanks for watching guys. If you happen to think of any other myths that you want tested, feel free to put them in the comments below and subscribe for more videos and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.